Okay, so we're back. So um, we did a video showing how to get the camera to work in a PWA. Then we did a video that showed the camera working in iOS and kind of the changes that we need to make to get it to work in iOS. And this final video is the changes that we need to make to get the camera to work in Android. So we're back in the uh, Ionic uh, capacitor documentation here. So capacitor docs, api.camera. Uh, so the camera, the plugin and everything's already installed. All we have to do is we need to go down here and we need to handle these different, these additional changes that need to be made to the, um, like it says, API permissions made to your Android manifest. So the easiest way to do this is, well, first let's check and make sure we should have already had Android installed on this project. So there's our iOS. There is no Android installed yet. So that's right, so we just did a PWA. So let's add Android to the project. And we can do that npx cap add Android. You must install it on your project first. So let's. Okay. And so that's installed. Now we do the npx cap add Android. So this will actually create the Android project for the application. It's found all the plugins. Notice it's got the camera plugin. And now here it says we need to modify the Android manifest. And so the way to do it is you can open up your project here and you open up the Android project. And then we go into app, source, main, and here's the Android manifest. I'm going to spread this over to take up more of the screen. Let me open up this manifest. And then down here under the permissions, and to fill the provider permissions right here, it says its API requires the follow permissions to be added. So let's just go and we'll just copy this. And we just paste these additional permissions in. Let's move this out of the way so we can see what they are. So we need the permission to read and write to external storage. So that's so it can save everything. And then we clearly, we have to save it. So we save it so it's gone. Let's go back to our home page. Let's kind of move this back over so we get additional space. Let's scroll down here. Uh, additionally, because the camera API launched a separate activity in a folder, you should listen for app restore in the app plugin to handle any camera data that was sent in case your app was terminated. We're not gonna do all that right now. Um, so that's all you gotta do for Android. So now let's see if we can get this thing to build and run. And so that's Ionic cap run Android. Enter. And so we're gonna use We'll just use this first phone, this Nexus 5X API 28, and we'll let it build. So now we got our phone restarting, so our emulator, and it's deploying the app. So it says, see here, it says it deployed to our phone. And now here's our application. Once again, the emulator will be using the fake camera. So we click. We can choose from any photos that are already stored on this emulator. Looks like there's some old pictures here. So I can select the picture and it gets added. So select the photo. And the photo, oh, looks like it allows you to edit it. So we're just going to say we'll take the original. Let's close that. I think I canceled it by doing that. Let me try this again. So click me from photos, pictures. I'm going to use that photo. And then so it gives us we picked the original. See, I'm not used to this in your Save copy. 
and then we get our photo back in here. Um, let's click me, take picture, let's see if this will work. Uh, no, it doesn't work. So let me see, let's try a thing. It's just going to take a picture of this, which isn't what we want. Um, and if we say check, it'll save that photo, the same process, save copy, and the photo gets added here. So you can see it running here. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to switch to recording my Nexus phone and we're going to deploy the app directly onto my phone and you'll be able to see me take a real picture with the camera to sure, sure everything's working. So pause, we'll just have a slight pause in the video as I switch over to uh, recording the other device. Okay, now we are going to do a uh, recording of deploying it to my actual phone. So we're going to do Ionic Cap on Android. Um, but this time you see that Sam, this Samsung SMN8, that's my uh, Nexus. I mean, that's my um, Samsung Galaxy Note. And I'm going to deploy to that. So now it is running. And it's producing an optimized build. And it should be in the process now of deploying to my phone. It's running the Gradle build. And now it's launching on my phone and we have the uh, app running on my phone. So let's take a photo. So we'll say take picture. And this is a picture of the computer. We take the picture, we say OK, and the picture appears. And let's try another one. So we click me from photos, use some photos I took from when I went to the beach the other day, and you get the photos. So this is the application running on device. And all we really had to do was update the Android um, manifest to add those two properties that we mentioned, and that's what we get. All right. Thanks.